Hi, this is Jim Pellerino. Yesterday I bought a copy of a, a local newspaper, the Syracuse Post Standard. Uh, not much of a fan of the newspaper, but uh, there's some information on there that uh, that I wanted to read about, about uh, how our Syracuse University is, uh, is moving to the Atlantic Coast conference for the sports franchise for the for the sports teams and so I read the paper uh, found something of uh, significance and it just kind of reminded me why I, I uh, why I hate the newspaper this is pretty much what they do I believe it's um, what's referred to as pseudo liberalism Okay, there, there isn't much going on in the news, so they invent, invent a cause that they, the newspaper, takes up. Um, we have to prevent uh, children under the age, of, people under the age of 18 from being able to use canning beds. And the reason why they have to do that is because there has been uh, just recently elevated rates in skin cancer in the community. Um, so we have elevated levels of uh, skin cancer uh, that had just recently occurred. So they think that somehow uh, the, the cause of it, the cause of the elevated rates has been um, children being able to use canning beds, that, and that's the reason for the elevated rates. Well, uh, I, I'm thoroughly certain that this is not the reason for the elevated rates in skin cancer. Uh, uh, the tanning, the, the tanning laws in New York State only allow at the maximum 12 minutes exposure and only one time a day. Uh, these laws are already in, in effect by the state for a maximum of 12 minutes and 12 minutes alone inside a tanning bed. Uh, and you can only do it one time a day. The, that, those laws in and of themselves would protect against um, people coming down with skin cancer under the age of uh, 18 from, by, uh, by using tanning beds. So, uh, there's a pseudo cause, as they were bored, and, um, the, the, uh, article is very, uh, self-congratulatory in how they were able to, um, they didn't get it, they didn't, weren't able to pass a law whereby people under the age of 18 can't use it, but they were able to pass it so that children under the age of 16 can't use a tanning bed. So in this in this area of the earth here, Syracuse, we get the least amount of sunlight out of any city in America, outside of those in in Washington State. Right? So through um, the vast amount of time when we don't have any sunlight whatsoever, and this doesn't even and this doesn't even take into account um, all the 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 chemtrails that are sprayed. Forming those clouds that um, that appear overhead that stop uh, the sun from uh, from really fully shining down on the human skin anyway, right? Uh, those those are aluminum particles, right? That they spray each and every day when a plane goes overhead. They're spraying these things, aluminum particles, and it's to prevent global warming and it's to have the sun's rays when it, they shine down to bounce back off of the aluminum par particles out back into the atmosphere, right? This, this occurs every day, right? So the people cannot get, like, um, the sun exposure and sunburns and that sort of thing, or the, uh, the, the, the healthy benefits of the sun practically at all anymore here in Syracuse. I mean, we couldn't get it before they started doing these spraying things, but now that they're doing it every day, you know, it's just, it, it, it gets harder and harder to be able to go outside and even get a sunburn, um, let alone get the positive effects 
of, of the sun. All of you have to be well aware of the positive effects of the sun. The sun brings life to everything on earth. If the sun was blotted out thoroughly from the sky and its rays did not reach us, there would, we would all die and there would be no life. No plant, no bacteria as far as I know, nothing. No life at all on the earth. The sun gives life to everything on the earth. And the sun, when it, the sun's UVB rays hit our skin, it forms cholecalciferol, also known as vitamin D3, uh, that, that, trans, that your body transforms into vitamin D3. And this is the number one fighter of disease that the humankind has ever had. Uh, vitamin D3 binds to over 2,000, maybe even 3,000 genes in our body. That's one-tenth of our genes in a positive way. It's the number one disease fighter known to man, vitamin D3. We don't, we cannot get it, hardly at all anymore, from, from sun, from the sun. So people like 16 years in age or under, they could always still go to the tanning bed and get it. Well, not anymore, thanks to the post standard. Post standard, criminal enterprise, post standard. And they're pretend like looking out for humanity has prevented children from being able to uh, access the number one healing agent known to man, vitamin D3. They have to purchase it in a bottle at a store. And that, the store bought cola calciferol, does not have the sulfated form of vitamin D3, the more natural, it doesn't go through the phase where it has a, the natural sulfated form of vitamin D3 that you would, a human being would normally get from normal sun exposure and UVB rays. So this is a, and, and this is like, this was all like a pseudo cause and they think that they sit. And they, 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 the article was self-congratulatory on how they saved the day from people getting lots and lots of skin cancer. Um, as far as I know, the toxic chemicals in our soaps and, our, and in actual our, our suntan creams and lotions uh, are carcinogenic and cancer-forming. Uh, and the sun rays... The UVA rays are also this, um, but um, usually, like, uh, people need the UVB rays to off, they, that far, and they, they, they far offset. As long as you're not out there in the sun too long, like, say you're out there 6 to 12 minutes, 12 minutes pops, right? You're going to get a quality amount of... Uh, but you're not going to be exposing yourself when you're outside for like 12 minutes on a nice day to the levels that are going to cause um, uh, problems, uh, UVB, UVA damage, really. But, and you're, you're going to get uh, the quality UVB rays and the quality sulfated form of vitamin D3 which you can't get from popping a pill. But none of these things are allowed anymore. If you're under the age of 16 in Onondaga County, and people that don't know any, that they have a junk science background and learning, they, they're not experts at anything. Um, at a post standard, made an issue of it, and now no one can, uh, under the age of 16, can get this sulfate to form of vitamin D3 when the weather's bad because they're not allowed to use tanning salon so this fictional make pretend saving people is doing the exact opposite it's making sure that they do not reap the health benefits of the UVB rays and the sulfated form of vitamin D3 um, it's pseudo liberalism it's fast it's um, totalitarian 
And, uh, uh, you know, it is fascist. It is fascist. It's trying, all these laws usually are, are done to direct, to cut, undercut another business. This, the, um, the panic salon industry and to direct the business elsewhere. And that's pill popping things. All right. That, the, the, these are the things that, that take precedence. For, for them, not not your health. So, all of you have to understand this. And yeah, you really should start speaking out on the pseudo liberalism. It's manufactured causes that are infringing upon your rights as a human being and your rights to your health. Have a nice day.